to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I've got a massive leak from Intel Giver for some new packs coming out in Combat Arms. Now, we all know Intel Giver is a massive, he's right on the dot for this, so I have to give a big thank you before we start, because every single month, he always gives it to me first, so I can make some videos, absolutely fantastic that he goes and does this. Now, let's have a look at the actual leak. Now, as you can see, they have a very reoccurring theme, because all of of these are, are packs based on the classes of guns. We've got assault, machine gun, submachine gun, shotgun, and sniper rifle. So you know that is pretty cool. Now one thing I'd like to clear up is about the Colonel Panic. That is just code names they use on these type of things because they know every single patch when they go and put stuff like this in. They're going to have people like Intel Giver going to go and have a look at them and they just put random code names and nicknames and whatnot. That's really insignificant. But what is significant is the actual packs themselves. Bomb left hand corner. It shows a Max's R870 shotgun. Everybody is freaking out that you're going to get a guaranteed Max's R870 shotgun. Now, I believe that these packs are going to be quite different from what you guys would think. You think you get a guaranteed R Max's R870 shotgun, and you've got a guaranteed M417 SB if you buy the assault pack. When that is probably not going to be true. That would just be not profitable for Nexon. They're going to do it on a chance basis, but they're going to limit it, toward, limit it towards a certain class. So let's take the submachine gun pack for an example. In that, you would probably get NX standards, NX epics, whatever, of just submachine guns. It would be like combat arms way, 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 way back, if you guys remember, where you could buy cases that were absolute, that were just specific to classes. This is like 2K9, 2K10 stuff. This is quite far back. But saying that, I think they're going to bring that, bring this back for NX standards, for NX rares, NX epics, and all that type of stuff. I'm looking forward towards this because when I buy mis cases, I'm not looking for assault rifles, machine guns, shotguns. I'm generally looking for like some machine guns and sniper rifles because that's what I kind of lack in my arsenal. Now this is going to be really good because you ju you're just going to buy a case for the weapons that you need. But the trade-off is, it's obviously going to be more expensive, it's probably going to have lower durations, probably going to have a higher probability of getting more NX standards rather than NX rares, even though the probability is so low on the normal mist cases, it's going to be even lower, I assume. So it's going to be trade-offs. Do you want a certain class of weapon, or are you going to take the chance and go and try for everyone with the normal missed case? I think that's what Nexon's trying to do with these cases. I think it's going to be a really, really good marketing strategy for more people to go and buy NX. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like, Rain. And also, thank Intel Giver for all the leaks that he does on the Combat Arms Wiki. But other than that, Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.